Welcome back to another edition of Hurricane Talk. The Hurricane Junior Golf Tour headed north this past weekend to North Charleston, South Carolina for the Coastal Carolina Junior Shootout at the Coosaw Creek Country Club. Coosaw Creek is one of the toughest courses that the HJGT has played this year, but the course was in great shape and the weather was perfect. Let's now take a look back at what went on at the Coastal Carolina Junior Shootout. The boys' 16 and 19 division was highly contested as the top six players finished within five shots of one another. Jarrett Swan of Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, held the overnight lead after shooting a 4 over 75 on Saturday, which gave him a one-shot lead going into Sunday. Swan was followed closely by Garris Killensworth of Johns Island, South Carolina. Swan would feel pressure to hold on to the lead as multiple players shot rounds in the low to mid-70s on Sunday to put them into contention. Zachary Bow of Bluffton, South Carolina, followed up his opening round 78 with the second round 75, vaulting him up the leaderboard. Bow would fall short, however, in his comeback attempt and finish second to Swan. Swan shot a second round 76 to finish with a two round total of 151. Bow finished with a two round total of 153. Swan would lead the field with 25 pars for the weekend, as well as a 72. 0.2% of pars or better. Bo had an eagle and finished second with six birdies for the weekend. Bruce Michaels of Pauley's Island, South Carolina, and Grant Wagner of North Charleston, South Carolina, both finished in a tie for third with a two-round total of 154. Michaels had a 61.1% of pars or better, which was fourth best in the division. The division also featured a hole-in-one by Preston Johnson of Charleston, South Carolina. Preston went to shoot Sunday's best round of a 72, which was led by his hole-in-one on the 160-yard par-3 third hole. Preston also had a hole-in-one on the same hole in last year's tournament at Coosaw Creek. In the boys' 13-15 division, Roland Morris of Hickory, North Carolina, edged out Jeremy Grab of Daniel Island, South Carolina, for first place. Morris followed up his opening round 77, with the second round 81 to finish with a two-round total of 158. Grab shot an opening round 81 and a second round 78 to finish with a two-round total of 159, falling just a stroke short of the championship. Morris used three birdies and 18 pars to help him grab the victory. Grab led the group with 19 total pars for the weekend, as well as a 4.50 par-4 average. Bryson Nimmer of Bluffton, South Carolina, finished in third place with a two-round total of 162. Nimmer had 17 pars for the weekend and tied for the lead with a 4.50 par-4 average. The boys' 10-12 to division featured a battle between two brothers as Alec Weary and Drew Weary of Bluffton, South Carolina, battled for the first-place trophy. Alec would take home the trophy as he used five birdies and 19 pars to help him achieve a two-round total of 152, which included a two-under 34 on Sunday's back nine. Drew would go on to take second place for the group. Drew finished first with 3.38 par-3 average. Remember, if you want to check out pictures from this weekend's event or any of our past events, visit us on our Facebook fan page. Don't forget to check out the Nike Fall Challenge leaderboard on www.hjgt.org. There are only six weeks left, and the race for the lead is closer than ever. The winner of each division will receive four free dozen Nike One Tour D golf balls. All right, we're here with the boys 16 to 19 champion, Jared Swan from Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, and the boys 13 to 15 champion, uh, Roland Morris of Hickory, North Carolina. All right, guys. So you both held the uh, the lead in your respective age divisions going, you know, overnight. What were your thoughts going into today, um, Jarrett? You first. I mean, coming into today, I just thought, you know, if I post a good even par round, you know, I had a one shot lead going into, had one person one shot back. I, had, you know, six guys three back. If I shoot even par, I win. That yeah. simple. And uh, Roland, what were your thoughts uh, going into today? Just to uh, get off to a good start, make a few pars early, and uh, if I was patient enough, very easy to come. And See if I can post a good number. All right, so Roland, you were the only uh, guy in the 13 to 15 group in the last pairing. What score did you think you needed to post today? Um, because you didn't see the other scores coming. What what score did you think you needed to post to uh, to win the tournament? I mean, it was tough. It not being close to the guys in my age group. I had to uh, 
kind of see what the conditions are like and uh, adjust what I needed to, what I thought to shoot to win. But uh, it was tough out there, so I thought if I could just play how I did yesterday, it would get the job done. All right, and uh, and Jared, you know, you and Garrett, you guys were uh, really close um, on that front nine. What did you think you needed to do on that back nine? Uh, I know you were three over at that at the turn. What did you think you needed to do on the back nine to uh, to get that victory? I mean, I knew I was three over, you know, one shoot even, but you know, I continued. I had to stay patient, and I knew that if I stayed patient, the course playing a lot tougher than I previously thought it would. You know, just stay patient. Don't shoot too many pins. Pick your spots. Try and make your birdies, but don't make any big numbers. And you know, just work my way through. All right, you've heard it here with our boys 16 to 19 champion Jared Swan of Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, and our boys 13 to 15 champion Roland Morris of Hickory, North Carolina. Don't forget to sign up for the Furman University Junior Shootout at the Furman University Golf Club in Greenville, South Carolina, November 13th through the 14th. And we also have the Central Florida Junior Classic at Hunters Creek Golf Club in Orlando, Florida on November 13th and 14th. The registration deadline for both of these events is Wednesday, November 3rd.